Salwete, history nerds. This is the second part in my series on the provinces of the Roman Empire. In my last video, I covered the 13 senatorial provinces, and in this video, I will cover 11 of the imperial provinces. I should note that I will not be covering the provinces of Assyria, Mesopotamia, and Armenia, since they only existed for a few years, and I also will not be covering the province of Alpes Maritimae, as I just could not find very much information on it. With that out of the way, let's dive in. Aegyptus. This province was annexed by the Roman Empire in 30 BC after the defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra during the War of Actium. When the Romans took over the province, there was already a cultural divide between native Egyptian culture and the comparatively recently introduced Greek culture. So, with Latin Roman culture added on top of that, Aegyptus became one of the most culturally diverse provinces in the empire. Like Africa Proconsularis, Aegyptus was a major breadbasket of the Roman economy, producing around 26 million tons of grain every year, which is why reclaiming the province was a major objective for the Romans during the crisis of the 3rd century, when a large portion of the Eastern Roman Empire was conquered by the breakaway Palmyrene Empire. Arabia this province consisted of the northwestern portion of the Arabian Desert, and was annexed by the Roman Empire in 106 AD after the conquest of the Nabataean Kingdom. It was very economically important, as it defended the trade routes between Arabia and Egypt. As such, the Romans built a series of fortifications there known as the Limes Arabicus, though the province wasn't as subject to invasions as many other border provinces were, mostly due to its very dry desert terrain. Alpes Cotiae this was a very small province located in the Alps. It was originally a small independent chiefdom ruled by a king named Marcus Julius Dunus, who established friendly relations with Julius Caesar when he allowed Caesar to use a mountain pass located within his territory. This friendship continued under Dunus' son, Marcus Julius Cutius, after whom the province was later named. During the year of 15 BC, the Emperor Augustus invaded the Alps, but because of the friendship between Cotius and the Romans, Cotius was allowed to retain control over the region as a client state within the Roman Empire, rather than being outright annexed as a regular province. In 63 AD, after the death of Cotius' grandson, the Emperor Nero formally made the region into an imperial province. It was a very strategically important province as many mountain roads traversing the Alps were located there. Alpes Graiae et Poinenae. This province was conquered by the Emperor Augustus during his Alpine campaign in the year 15 BC. The indigenous tribes of that region, the Valenses and the Cotrones, were granted Latin rights around the year 50 AD, and their two provinces, Alpes Graiae and Alpes Poinae, were united into a single province. Like Alpes Cotias, this province was considered very strategically important, as it contained the Great and Little St. Bernard Passes, which were very useful for traveling across the Alps. In fact, the Romans built a road in the province called the Via Alpina, which you can still hike to this day. Aquitania This province consisted of the western portion of Gaul, modern-day France, and was conquered by Julius Caesar during his Gallic campaigns between 58 and 50 BC. In 27 AD, the Emperor Augustus split Gaul into three provinces, with Aquitania being the southeastern portion. It was generally a prosperous province due to its fertile soil, and it also wasn't subject to barbarian invasions like the other Gallic and Germanic provinces. Belgica Like Aquitania, Belgica was conquered by Julius Caesar during his Gallic campaigns, and was split off from Gaul in 27 BC by the Emperor Augustus. During the reign of the Emperor Domitian, about half of the province was split off to become the provinces of Germania Inferior and Superior. Like other Roman border provinces, Belgica suffered numerous barbarian invasions, notably in 173 AD by the Chauci tribe, and in 260 when it became part of the breakaway Gallic Empire. Despite this, the province's capital, Trier, would later become the residence of the Western Roman Emperor. Britannia this province consisted of the southern portion of the British Isles and corresponds roughly with the borders of modern-day England. It was annexed by the Roman Empire in 43 AD during the reign of Emperor Claudius. Roman Britain was very significant to the Roman economy due to its wealth of mineral resources. 
Despite being on the fringes of the Roman Empire, Roman mines there produced over 100,000 tons of lead, 15,000 tons of copper, and 2,000 tons of iron every year. In addition, the Romans founded many important cities in the province, most notably the capital, Londinium, which would later become London. Cilicia this province consisted of the southern coast of Anatolia and was annexed by the Roman Republic in 64 BC. Before Roman conquest, this region was originally home to the infamous Cilician pirates. These pirates frequently raided the Mediterranean, so much so that the term Cilician pirates just referred to any kind of pirate. In 64 BC, the Roman general Pompey defeated the pirates at the Battle of Coracasium. Despite being annexed during Republican times, the province was later reorganized by Julius Caesar as an imperial province due to its strategic importance. Cappadocia This province consisted of central Anatolia. It was originally under the control of a Hellenistic kingdom called the Kingdom of Cappadocia. Though originally hostile, the kingdom became a close Roman ally, aiding Rome in numerous wars. When the king of Cappadocia, Attalus III, died in 133 BC without an heir, he left the kingdom as an inheritance to Rome. However, many other people, including Mithridates of Pontus, claimed to dominion over the kingdom, and only in 93 BC did stability come to the region in the form of a client state ruled by Ariobarzanes I. This client state survived until the year 14 AD, when political wrangling in Rome caused the Emperor Tiberius to directly annex Cappadocia as an imperial province. Dacia. This province was annexed in 106 AD during the reign of Emperor Trajan. It was a far-flung province on the very edge of the Roman world. Because of this, it was the subject of frequent barbarian invasions, such as the ones by the Daci and the Marcomanni. In 271 AD, the Emperor Aurelian formally relinquished Roman control over the province, as it was too costly and annoying to maintain. It's likely that the Romans living in this province survived through the various Germanic and Slavic invasions and would later form the country of Romania. Dalmatia Originally, this geographical area was part of a larger province called Illyricum, which was conquered by the Roman Empire in 27 BC. Sometime before the reign of Emperor Vespasian in 70 AD, the province was split into two provinces, Dalmatia and Pannonia, though exactly when this split happened is unclear. Dalmatia was much more Romanized than Pannonia, and it remained culturally Roman and later Italian until the end of the medieval period. Thank you for watching this video. You can help this channel out by subscribing and liking the video, and as always, credit to these people for some of the images shown here.